There's going to be four exercises in this series. John's going to be completing them with his cane. You could also use a broomstick or a dowel at home. What I've done here for John is I have ace wrapped his hand so he doesn't have to focus on grasping and he can focus on the control on his shoulder. Before completing any of these exercises, please consult your local therapist, making sure that they are appropriate for you. The first exercise is going to be shoulder flexion to 90 degrees. I'm gonna have John bring his arm straight out and he's gonna lift up to 90 degrees and then he's gonna bring his arm back down, back down. Let's get a minute on the clock. John's gonna be counting at home, which kind of helps, um, gonna be counting here, which at home you can count as well. It helps facilitate the correct breathing. John's looking good. Are you breathing over there, John? Yep. Looks good. This exercise could also be completed lying down if it needed to be. John's gonna do all of this series seated and looking good. Oftentimes you can find that the shoulder will tend to hike that is not happening with John. John is actually doing a great job. If he is, it wouldn't be, if it's available, you could have a family member or a friend take a peek as you do the exercise and making sure that you're maintaining good mechanics. How you feeling, John? Good. At any point you feel like you need to rest before the minute is up, go ahead and do so. Start back up when you can. These exercises are for you and that could be a way to tailor your progress. We have five seconds before we take a 15 second rest break. Looking great. Good time to take a break, John. So we have 15 seconds. If you do have a weak grasp, make sure that you maintain good control of your weak extremity. It's very important. We don't want anything to happen. We want to make sure that we keep everything safe. We're going to start that next set. Great. And come on down. I really do want you to listen to your body. If it's telling you that this is too much, you don't have to go up as high. If you feel like you can go up a little bit higher, you could go up a little bit higher. But you kind of have to make your exercise program one that fits you. John does these on a consistent basis at home. He's completed some of them laying down with a weight on there to gain some strengthening which has been very successful. John has regained quite a bit of strength in his shoulder since he first had a stroke, wouldn't you say, John? Yes. Yes. Looking great. Again, make sure that if you're feeling any discomfort or you're having any increased tightness that you take a break, take a rest, keep track of your reps. So that's a great way to show progress and improvements as you continue to rehab. We have three seconds left and we'll finish shoulder flexion to 90 degrees. Great job. 